I've owned the DeWalt DW735X thickness planer for almost four years now, and I feel that I can finally, absolutely, definitely say that you should. Hey Jake, I'm Guys here. Today I wanted to share with you a little bit about my DeWalt 735X thickness planer. See, I've had this thing for a while now, so I thought I would share my thoughts on its quality, durability, features, and then of course the final verdict on whether or not you need to buy this planer. First, we're gonna talk about the features, then the good, the bad, and of course, would I buy this again if I had to? Let's dive into it. Starting off with the features, the DeWalt DW735X planer has a 13 inch width capacity, six inch thickness or depth capacity. Holy gosh darn, that is a big chunk of wood. Powered by a 15 amp, 20,000 RPM motor, the DeWalt DW735 has a three knife cutter head that spins at around 10,000 RPM. And it has this really cool feature that makes changing the planer knives really easy, but more on that later. The drive system on this planer features a fancy two speed gearbox. That means you get 96 and 179 cuts per inch if you want that extra fine finish. The DW735 has a super big, heavy, sturdy cast aluminum base that according to the website is two times more rigid than a standard 10 inch base. I don't know what that means, but I can assure you that this planer is heavy AF, weighing in at 92 pounds, so it's sturdy. There's also an automatic carriage lock that reduces the movement in the carriage that causes snipe. Since it's automatic, you don't need to activate it. This is achieved by these four threaded rods at each of the corners and a chain drive, which in my opinion is far superior than most of the lunchbox planer designs out there. Some other quick features included on the DeWalt DW735X thickness planer are a material removal gauge, thickness scale, and this really cool extra large turret depth stop, which allows you to set the material thickness to some common thicknesses that you might use. The first thing that really drew me to this planer was the way that they designed the carriage mechanism. This entire feed head carriage is supported by a four post threaded rod system that is driven by a chain drive. Since snipe is caused by the carriage of the planer actually twisting when the workpiece passes under the rollers and the blades, this four post design used by DeWalt is super rigid and significantly reduces the snipe. If you compare this design to a portable lunchbox style planer, which uses a single threaded rod or two or so guide rods, it's pretty obvious why a DeWalt planer has a superior design. The next feature I really like about the DeWalt DW735 is the way that they engineered the cutter head to use these easily replaceable knives. Most planers or joiners use a clamping mechanism to hold the knives in the cutter head that don't positively locate that knife. What this means to you is that in order to replace the knives, you would need to use a special jig or a dial indicator to make sure that all three knives were correctly positioned at the right place. If even one of the knives is sticking a little bit too far out or not far enough, this is gonna result in a wavy, bumpy surface on your workpiece. The smart engineers over at DeWalt solved this problem by designing the cutter head with locating dowels. In order to swap in new knives, you simply use the included tools, which are built into the design here, remove the old knives and drop in the new knives. These knives also have two edges, so you can actually just spin them around and get back to work without replacing them if you don't want to. Extra bonus, the tool to do pretty much any maintenance on this planer is stored conveniently right here in the top. This is one of those features that engineers could have saved five minutes and just left out of the design entirely, but they were thinking ahead. And it's really one of those little features that makes life a lot easier. Some of you might already be screaming that making the knives use special dowels was just a way for DeWalt to make you spend more money on the planer knives, but I'll get to that later. My third favorite feature on the DeWalt is the fan-assisted chip ejection system. DeWalt engineers seem to be a pretty clever bunch because one of the big issues I've seen on the cheaper planers is that the chips can often get stuck around the cutter head and clog everything up. But the DW735 solves this by adding a shroud inside of the planer along with a super powerful blower motor that vacuums the chips right off of the cutter head as they're cut. This means almost no chips escape the planer, 
leaving your workshop super duper clean. Nothing is perfect, and the DeWalt DW735 thickness planer is no exception. Remember how I kept saying that the engineers over at DeWalt Stanley Decker seem to think of everything? Well, let's talk about these outfeed tables. The outfeed tables are included with the DW735X model, but you can also buy them separately. The neat thing about these tables is that they're designed to actually fold up when not in use. This reduces the footprint of this rather large planer design and makes it much easier to store. However, the outfeed table can't fold up because it hits the blower motor. Seriously? This seems like a pretty silly oversight, but it's uh, quite annoying nonetheless. Next up on my the bad list is the afterthought design of the dust collection coupling on the blower motor. This is held on by two small little plastic tabs and they break really easy, especially if you have a heavy dust collection hose like I do. So just something to keep in mind. Also, Christmas is coming up, and if you're looking for a cool stocking stuffer, look no farther than the Woodworker's Notebook. This has a handy dandy fraction to decimal chart on the back if you hate metric like I do. And inside, we've got a bunch of dotted paper as well as some handy dandy reference equations. Be sure to check these out on Amazon. I mentioned that I like the design of the planer knives because they're really easy to replace, but a downside of this useful feature is that the knives are pretty expensive, clocking in at around $55 or so, and while they're reversible, this can add up pretty quick if you're milling a lot of lumber. Also, due to the dowel pin design, these blades are not sharpenable. Now, on my opinion, this is totally fine with me, but if you're trying to be thrifty, proprietary knife design is gonna make this really difficult. Before we get into whether or not I would recommend this DeWalt DW735 or DW735X planer for your shop, I think it is worth mentioning that the planer is in a class of its own. It fits in this weird category of prosumer grade equipment that is not meant to be portable, but doesn't quite hit the beefiness level of a commercial grade planer. However, this is a pretty popular planer due to sitting in this exact category all by itself. And there are a few really interesting aftermarket upgrades that you can actually make if you decide to purchase this planer. The first are carbide planer knives. I haven't used these personally, but they're supposed to last a lot longer. And of course, the holy grail, the carbide tooth helical cutter head. Most commercial grade woodworking equipment uses helical cutter heads with small carbide inserts. This leaves a smoother finish and cuts a lot more efficiently overall. And the best thing is that when the carbide inserts get dull or chip, all you have to do is rotate or replace a single insert. This is way cheaper than replacing a set of $55 proprietary planer knives. Anyways, I just wanted to mention these up grades because I think they're worth considering if you have the budget for them. Okay, that brings us to the question you've all been waiting for. Would I buy this planer again? Absolutely. This planer has worked really well for me over the years and I expect it to continue working well into the future. 